Hey, so today's test, we're going to be looking at the Jackery. This is the Explorer 880 here. There's a variety of different sizes. This is a 1,000 watt continuous, 2,000 watt peak little battery inverter that gives us 110 volt. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be running with that, not the iPad. The iPad is charged up uh, far enough for this test. We're going to be doing a mixer, which doesn't take a ton of power, but we're going to be putting a sound system to it. And that sound system is not going to be just one sub or two subs and the top. It's going to be four subs and the two tops. So this basically, for those of you who are not in the DJ profession, this is a full sound system that could do high school dances and really give you a lot of thump. These are 15 inch subwoofers in there. These are 12 inch two-way top cabinets and it can produce a lot of SPL. And we're gonna look at that in the video as it goes along. Some of the audio you will not hear because of, uh, of, of licensing and things. So we're just going to kind of demonstrate as we go. So our first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this turned on. And there we go, we have it on. So now we're going to kind of start turning things on. First thing we're going to do is turn on our little board. And our little board should be lit up because we've got it plugged in right here. Right here is the board. So it's just pulling a very minimal, minimal amount of power. Now I'm gonna see if I can leave this here. Okay, so now you can see by looking at that, you're seeing 100, 106 watts or what are being used right now. Now I'm going to show you, let me back out here. This is our kilowatt and I'm going to switch this over to wattage. So this is one tower of speakers on kind of standby for lack of a better way to describe it. It's using about 50 watts, which is, which would be, what you're seeing here is accurate. So we're going to get our music started here and uh, get things ready to go here on our test. We're gonna be taking the volume up on this a little bit to see what this is all going to entail when we start pushing this just a little bit louder. So I've got to do a voiceover because the music can't be on the video. So we tried to set the audio between 105 to 110 decibels uh, at that distance, which is about eight to 10 feet away. We've got our four subs, two tops, and then we come up here and we can check the the one stack is getting is doing about that 90 uh, 100 uh, watts pulling in that and that's the full load of everything the mixer and both stacks of speakers now this is after 15 minutes and we're down to 95 percent of the battery and you can see that our wattage is still up there on both devices now we're coming to you at half an hour in, so we're down 10%, and we still are bouncing somewhere between 120 watts of draw, and we can peak up to a 250 watts of draw during this this uh, full test of every all six speakers at the same time. And now we're one hour in, and you can see we've used about 19% of the battery to get to, to this point. And again, we've kept the volume and the pull, uh, the draw at the same level pretty much throughout this whole time. So that way people can go and see what it can do. And now we're in about 90 minutes. So we've got 72% uh, of the battery, again, about 10% uh, for every half hour at the volume level and draw that we have, which if we round that to about a 200 watt draw, that really adds up with our numbers. And now we're in about two hours and we've got about 63% of the battery left. We are going uh, putting about 80 to 120 watts to each tower uh, during this little test here. You can check this out. Uh, the second tower is uh, going at, you know, 80 and we bounce around as depending upon if there's a base yet. All right, so we are just a little over two hours into our battery test. We've got the Jackery battery, that's the 880, which gives us 1,000 watts of, of continuous run or continuous power draw. It's got 1,000 watts of available power, which means that we're, our wattage, we're, we're generally right now, it's looking like we're pulling a lot of 150 watts give or take sometimes we spike above that sometimes we're below that but it seems that for every with those six speakers every 30 minutes we're taking about 10 percent of the battery so we're two hours in and we're at about 60 percent a little over 60 percent which would lead to me to believe that we would be able to get about five hours of runtime on that battery Again, two hours in, we're still a little over 60% left, and I'm going to be shutting things down here because it's going to be getting dark here, uh, just getting into the evening, and I want to uh, wrap this, this test up. So two hours, still over half the battery left. We could easily get four hours on that, and that is at a pretty high volume. 
I am right now, I'm a tenth of a mile away from those speakers. Uh, this is a tenth of a mile, and I can still hear everything. Um, which is, it's a really, it's a pretty little, a pretty good little sound system there. We're getting a lot of volume out of that. We're, we're peaking somewhere in that 110 decibel at about 10 feet out. You saw the uh, earlier when I had the little little uh, tester out there. So it's a good test. The battery at that level is gonna be able to handle it. You know, if we'd be going with a 500 watt, the 500 watt could do the same thing that you just saw there. The big difference is, is this, is we're going to have half the runtime in that one. So in this case, we're going to get about five hours with that system. Again, six speaker system with a 500 watt version, you're going to get less, uh, less than that. You're gonna probably be looking at about two hours, I would say, give or take in that ballpark. Now, if we go down to the 300 watt version, this could be problematic because the 300 watt version, our draw when we have a base hit is uh, getting right there. So you may not be able to do that with a 300 watt version with six speakers. Again, six speakers and a mixer are going on in there. We've got two ETX tops, the four subs, and it's it's thumping along pretty well. And I think overall, for, for most DJs, if you wanted to run the full system for the four hours, I think the 1000 is definitely the 880. Uh, depends where you go. If you go Amazon, it's the Explorer 1000. If you do it on Home Depot, it's the 880. Very similar units, but I've heard that the ones that Home Depot sell are a little bit nicer, a little bit better. They've got some more technology in it, whatever that means. So links will be in the description below, so you can go check this out. But I'm going to go shut things down and put things away because it's going to get dark here in a little bit in central Minnesota. This is John Young. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.